Hi guys, welcome back to The Shannon Show. Hello if you're new. So today's video is going to be a review of Valley Girl, the remake 2020, which has recently been released on VOD, as well as some drive through theatres. I'm thinking that's in the US rather than the UK. Feel free to comment down below your thoughts on my commentary. I'm always up for a chat. I'm always up for a debate. And if you like this video, give it a like. And if you didn't, give it a dislike. No hard feelings. So let's get into the review. Now, I actually haven't watched the original Valley Girl. I was thinking about watching it before watching this, but I just really didn't have any time. I've got so many things to get through. But from what I've heard from other people, the first one was a decent watch. Now, going into this one, I saw a snippet of the trailer and I was kind of thinking, hmm, I knew it was going to be cheesy. I don't mind cheesy films as long as it's, you know, that good type of cheese. So for me going into this, it was whether it was going to be a good type of cheese or a bad type of cheese. But I'd be interested to hear from people who've watched the trailer. What were your initial thoughts after watching the trailer? And also there's some notable names in here. There is Ashley Murray from Riverdale, Mae Whitman from Good Girls, and the YouTuber Logan Paul. And of course, Alicia Silverstone from Clueless. I thought that was quite an interesting lineup. I'm not gonna lie, sometimes when I see lots of big stars together and influency stars together, I always instantly get a bit skeptical, I'm not gonna lie. So seeing the cast, I was just like, hmm. We'll see. I'm glad to see my girl Ashley Murray still working, getting those bags post Riverdale. We love to see it. So for those of you who haven't watched the original Valley Girl, a summary of the plot is we see a mother and daughter relationship and the daughter has just broken up with her boyfriend and her mother is comforting her through telling her the story of her life as a teenager and the drama that she went through. And basically the story is that she was this typical valley girl. And for those of you who don't know what the significance of being a valley girl is, the valley is just like this affluent area in LA. If I could liken it to a place in London, I'd probably say like Chelsea. The mother's called Julie, by the way. And Julie is not this typical bimbo, dim-witted valley girl. She is a cool valley girl. She has a brain. She doesn't want to grow up and be a housewife. She wants to you know, live life to the fullest. And she gets involved with this boy who lives outside of the valley and this whole relationship causes a lot of drama. Now in terms of what you can expect, it's a pretty generic plot to be honest. We've got the usual suspects, as I said, the popular rich girl that goes against the grain, the mean girl, the douchey boyfriend, the bad boy that has a good heart, the smart girl, the quirky girl, all of the usual suspects are in this film. It's also very musically as well. There's a lot of musical numbers in there. Now, in terms of what I thought about the film, I thought it was a bit bland. I wasn't expecting much, to be honest, going by the trailer, but I wasn't expecting it to be as bland as it was. I feel like overall it was a pretty low value production. I wasn't invested in the drama. I wasn't invested in the romance, I wasn't invested in any of the characters. The writing was okay, but I think the execution was definitely poor and I think the direction was very lazy as well. It wasn't that type of cheesy but engaging drama. I think the tone was actually pretty similar to Mean Girls 2. There was promise there, you wanted to enjoy it, but you just couldn't. There were highlights here and there, like there was bits of it that I enjoyed, but overall across the board, I think it was pretty bland and leaning below average. In terms of the music, the music was okay. Sometimes it was a little bit meh. Some people sang better than others, but overall I don't think the music really added anything or elevated the film in any way. But I will shout out a couple of the songs slash performances that I did like in the film. So there was this one scene where Julie and her friends were exercising and there was this Material Girl mashup. That was pretty good, I'm not gonna lie, kind of getting my groove onto that, you know, Michelle Obama meme. The Boys Don't Cry duet with Mae Whitman's character and, and Joshua Whitehouse's character. That duet was a pretty good duet. Mae Whitman has some pipes. I was really surprised. I didn't know she could sing like that. Okay, girl. I'd love to see her in another musical. I'd be interested to hear how you felt about 
the execution of the narrative in this version of the film and what you thought about the music. Were you here for it? Were you not? Was it, was it a bit meh for you? Let me know. Now in terms of the characters and the performances, one thing I have to say is that the cast look 30 years old. The cast look near enough 30 years old and actually looked up some of their ages and you know half the cast is like 30 years old and you can tell honey and that definitely took me out of it. To be fair, from the pictures that I have seen from the 80s, it seemed like everyone did look 30 years old. I just don't really understand this trend in Hollywood of just hiring 30 year old people to play 18 year olds. I thought that was quite interesting. For those of you who have watched the film or have watched the trailer, what do you guys think? Do you feel like you can let it slide or do you feel like these people are like near enough 30, like what the hell's going on? In terms of the acting, I wasn't blown away by anyone's performance. I think everyone did decent with the material. Like I said, there was a clear lack of effort from the director here. It was definitely a generic, below average film and they did the best with what they were given. I couldn't say anyone did a bad acting job, but what I will say is whoever did Logan Paul's wig needs to be fired. I don't even know why they put him in that wig. It literally made him look 10 years older. Why would you give him this wig that makes him look a good 30 years old when he's meant to be playing an 18 year old? I'm still confused about that wig and it was like really thin as well and also what was also really weird is when they had that whole rollerblading ring scene and they had a stunt double the stunt double <laughs> you clearly see that that wasn't logan paul and what made it even more funny is that when they kind of showed the face of the stunt man they blurred out his face as to say like we wouldn't notice that you clearly blurred out this guy that clearly isn't logan paul that clearly is a stunt double i was just kind of thinking who is responsible for this editing because they've done a really bad job in terms of the look and feel of the film i feel like the cinematography was pretty decent i'm not really sure if it captured the 80s feel well most of the time it felt like they were filming today but they were dressed up in the 80s and even some of the costumes kind of felt like contemporary stuff but what did you guys think do you feel like they conveyed the 80s look and feel well or did it kind of feel a bit costumey to you um like i said the music was okay passable for the most part but what i didn't really like is the effect that they had on the actors when they were singing it kind of reminded me of those like really over edited covers that you hear on youtube production design and everything was pretty basic as well so i think taking everything into account i'm going to give the film a a two out of five now i would say objectively this film is bad not entirely unwatchable i personally wouldn't recommend paying for it on vod i'd say save your money and wait for it to come out on streaming or something like that um if you were going to watch it i'd probably recommend it for something like a sleepover or something it's definitely not a serious film i think most people would know it's not a serious film but i personally didn't really enjoy it but it wasn't the worst film either so yeah if you haven't watched it do let me know if this is if this was a film that you were or are looking to watch and if you have watched it let me know what you thought of it did you think it was good did you think it was bad did you think it was okay let me know what you would rate it out of five and of course let me know what you thought of my review subscribe if you haven't yet and if you have don't forget to press that notification bell so you'll know when the next review is dropping till next time guys bye